welcome to MCSE TV. Now guys, this is my end of season review. Now guys, in this video, I'm going to reflect on the season, all competitions, and discuss it with you guys. Now guys, let's talk about the Premier League first of all. Now, let's face it, it hasn't been the best Premier League season, has it? We've had a lot of lows, more lows than highs unfortunately. Yeah, we haven't had too bad of results. I mean, we beat Liverpool, etc, etc. But some of the games we did lose, it was just so disappointing. I mean, we lost against the likes of Newcastle, Watford, Bournemouth and so many other teams. And it was just a real letdown. It was disappointing. So the Premier League hasn't been great. And I mean, to not even finish in the top four for Champions League football next season, again, was, was upsetting for all of us Chelsea fans because we all love Champions League fo football just like any team does. So it is disappointing. And yeah, we have got Europa League football next season. It's not maybe the worst thing. But again, it's not Champions League football, is it? And Euro Europa League football isn't great because we've got loads of Sunday fixtures that means next season when us Chelsea fans really like the Saturday fixtures so again that's a bit of a disadvantage but it's the way it is I'm just gonna have to cope with that so yeah quite a bad Premier League season and as I said we didn't make top four we all wanted us to and I just didn't like the morality of how we actually left it till the last game of the season we relied on the last game of the season to try and get top four when the Premier League's over a full season you need to work for the full season and we let ourselves down in that respect so the Premier League hasn't been great um Champions League obviously we got like knocked out by Barcelona I'm not going to say it was the worst Champions League um well season should we say that we've ever had I mean let's face it we we beat Atletico Madrid that was definitely a game to remember last season that was brilliant and um, it wasn't too bad but again it was just so disappointing and disheartening to get knocked out by Barcelona in such a demoralizing way I mean they absolutely thrashed us um that was very disappointing for all of us Chelsea fans um and it was just a shame that we couldn't get any farther and to, to have been knocked out like we were, it, it was disappointing for all of us Chelsea fans, especially for all the fans that went over all the way to Barcelona, and it, it was just disappointing, guys. But again, it was the way it was, and it, we just got nothing out of it, really. Apart from the good result against Atletico, it was just so disappointing. Um, again, League Cup, we got knocked out of that. We're not gonna, let's not even discuss that too much. But again, very disappointing. Um, and then, obviously, the FA Cup, we won yesterday. And I just felt that that was a nice way to end the season. Like, as a lot of Chelsea fans were tweeting on social media and everything. Like, after the really bad season we've had, like, that, that was just a nice way to cap it off and end it. And I was so happy yesterday. I was absolutely over the moon. Um, it was something that us Chelsea fans deserved for following the boys all season. Um, obviously, it's been a bad season. So, for the boys to end it in such... Such a nice way like that was lovely. And um, none of us really expected us to win it yesterday either. Let's let's face it, guys. Let's be real about this. The odds were against us yesterday. I mean, I sat on my preview, my live team sheets, everything. I said Manchester United are going to win this. After the game against Newcastle last weekend, we all expected us to get thrashed by United. And by luck and by chance, we played defensive. We had a penalty. Things went our way. We've won thing and another. And then we won the game, which was lovely it was just so lovely to see the boys with the troll thing and it's just so nice and I absolutely love the FA Cup guys it's a really important competition to me and I love it I absolutely love it guys so to see us lift it meant so much to me and so many other Chelsea fans that was beautiful and that that's the way our season's gone guys and um, so yeah it's been one full of a lot of lows but some highs definitely I mean we went all the way through the FA Cup it's a hard competition at the end of the day because it's winner takes all if you lose one game you're knocked out and that's it you're gone so to get to the very end and to win it it's just lovely and that's another FA Cup to add to our list because we've won the FA Cup a lot now so that's lovely and um, so yes yeah, so it was a nice way to end the season guys so guys it obviously means that we now go to the community shield um 
I was actually looking on the, on the internet this morning, actually. I really want to go. It's on the 5th of August, as far as I know. So we've got the Community Shield, obviously, to look forward to, which is really exciting. And um, that's always lovely. And against Man City, so that'll be an interesting game. But apart from that, the season's now done, guys. Um, but yeah, so let's just see how it goes. So, guys, there's going to be loads of videos from me this summer. Um... I'm going to do lots of transfer videos, as I always do. I did last summer. I really enjoy doing them. And um, let's hope we get some like, good transfers in, some good signings. Um, so I'll be doing lots of videos there. Obviously, guys, what's going to happen with Conte? Now, I just want to quickly discuss that with you guys. I was talking to my dad about it this morning, and we were saying... Why should Conte be sacked when he's won a trophy each season? My dad said to me, Emma, there's only four trophies up for grabs every season and we've won one of them. So why why should Conte be sacked? Yeah, we didn't get top four. Um, we didn't succeed in ever, any other competitions apart from the FA Cup. We've, but we've got one trophy, guys. We've got one piece of silverware. There should be no reason why Conte should be sacked now. I mean... We've got a trophy. <laughs> That's the way it is, guys. We've got a trophy. Why should Conte be going anywhere now? Because we've we've got a piece of silverware. We can't complain. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to see what happens there. Obviously, the players haven't... Obviously, Conte never really said anything. He's been quizzed about it in his press conference conferences and everything yesterday by the media. People have been asking him if he's going anywhere. And he hasn't really said anything. But obviously, that's for the club to do to decide isn't it the players were also quizzed um gary kale's talking on the tv afterwards with an in on an interview and the presenter asked him like what's happening with conte and he said well that's not for us to decide it's it's chelsea so we're gonna have to see what happens there but i'm sticking by my guns i'm saying conte in all the way and um, so it's gonna be interesting so i'll keep you up to date with that in the summer guys but i don't want him to go anywhere obviously we've got pre-season games coming up but guys, from now, across summer, I'm going to be covering the World Cup on my channel. So guys, don't forget to tune in for all them World Cup videos. Um, I know I've got a lot of um, subscribers and followers from all around the world. So guys, from whatever country you are from, I will be covering at least one... I'll be covering at least every team in one preview if that makes sense so i'll obviously be covering england the most because that's my national team but teams like brazil um etc etc just any team i will be covering at least once with either a preview or a review or whatever and so there'll be lots of coverage coming from me about the world cup as i said i'll be keeping you up to date with all the transfer news throughout summer and thank you all so much for your support this season so thank you so much for watching guys please like comment subscribe let me know down below all your thoughts on the season how have you thought it's went um thoughts on conte who is there any signings you guys particularly want in and as i said guys don't forget to tune in across summer i'm not going anywhere i'm always here every summer keeping you up to date with lots of videos um but yeah i'm really excited i'm also really excited for next season guys because i am supposed to be going to university and um, to do a football journalism course and so i'll be doing lots of different videos and stuff when i go there so i'm really excited and um, so yeah next season's going to be fun and i'm really excited for it as i said thank you all so much for your continued support this season i love you all and guys i'm looking forward to this summer i hope everyone has an amazing summer and up the tails thanks